Hey there, boy, girl, or other. Uh, welcome to Game Mash, the show where I take two games and forcibly smush them together into one gobbledygook of awesome. So, today I'm putting Lord of the Rings into Skyrim, and I know what you're thinking. Lord of the Rings isn't a video game, it's a movie. Or Lord of the Rings isn't a video game, it's a book. Be slightly more receptive to that second one, because it was a book before it was a movie, and a lot of people don't know that for some reason. Not a lot of people, but there are people. Back on topic! Um, so, I'm counting it as a game because, Ed, you put the wrong clip in, didn't you? Ed, Ed, the clip, of, yeah, the, no, Ed, roll the clip. See, it's a game too, counts. Let's begin. You may realize that's the Dawnbreaker and... An awesome staff, but it's not just any awesome staff, and it's also not the Dawnbreaker. It just looks like it. this is actually Glamdring and Gandalf's staff. Glamdring is faux hammer, and that is Gandalf's sword. So naturally, Gandalf's sword, Gandalf's staff. What goes with that? Gandalf's everything else you can't see because the it's nighttime. Get out of here. Yeah, Glamdring's a bit powerful. So Gandalf's staff does this. I also have a separate staff called the Staff of Gandalf. The so apparently everyone's in pretty good agreement. Gandalf should use lightning for some reason. I personally feel as though he should use a sun explosion like in The Hobbit. This isn't a mod. Oh my gosh, is that Gandalf? And Gandalf. So I actually spawned these two guys so I could steal their glamdring and stabs and his clothes and sometimes for some reason he's still wearing his. But then I killed them afterward. Dun 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 dun. dun. This is a this is still the wrong game. Why do I keep singing that song for every game I play? Hey Ed, Ed in post. Can you just put in less than ten seconds of Lord of the Rings mu music? <laughs> we here? What is this random camp that's not usually in Skyrim? Alright, so I'm using a follower overhaul that lets me train, tell them to train, ask them what their stats are like. He has the one ring, which is for some reason not in apparel, but miscellaneous, so you can't equip it. And Sting, which is the Nightingale blade, but still looks pretty cool. Boromir, follow me, I need your help. Ah, uh, who really needs Boromir's help? Legolas, stop walking into nothing and follow me, I need your help. Gimli, follow me, I need your help. Merry, follow me, I need your help. Aragorn, follow me, I need your help. Sam, you can follow me, I need your help. Pippin, who's apparently sleeping with Sam. It's kind of awkward. Is there anyone I'm missing? Anyone at all? Hi, Gandalf. There can only be one Gandalf. Yep, he's gone. Let's go. So yeah, I've got the Fellowship following me now. So I've also got the actual equipable one ring. So this one just makes thinking for you better. This one, if you equip it, poof, you're invisible. 100% Bilbo style. Oh god, a poorly designed ring wraith. Come on, they could have put more work into that. I could have at least made him wearing robes. And did everyone just... Is everyone crouching? Dun 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 He's around here somewhere. Riften! Yes. Only one of the biggest cities in the entire game. No, I thought everybody knows where it is. And I even have a physical map. That I'll probably have a picture of. Uh, Ed! Retrospectively put a picture up. Ed, Ed, put it in, 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 in post. In post, put the picture up. Not that picture. The, the picture of me holding up my awesome Skyrim map. <gasps> Aragorn! That's Bilbo! Oh my gosh, hi Bilbo! If 
follow me. I need your help. Bilbo has now joined the fellowship. Bilbo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do this. Die, Bilbo. Everybody on Bilbo! Anduril. Anduril. An Anduril? <laughs> Don't get mad and hurt me again! This is not Aragorn. Aragorn wouldn't, like, fall to his knees and say, Don't get mad and hurt me again! I bestow upon you, Anduril. So apparently, one of the uh, Mines of Moria, and this one I've never seen, so I can't ju pass judgment on it prematurely. But apparently this Mines of Moria has an entrance in uh, Golden Rock. And last time I came here, I never found the entrance. So I just kind of assumed that they were a pain in my butt. But I don't know. I, I read somewhere that there's an entrance within the cave. Into a Mines of Moria thing. So let's just head on over to Golden Rock. So I guess somewhere in here is supposed to be an entrance into the Mines of Moria. And I don't know. I'm incapable of finding it, I guess. But I will attempt to do so regardless. Now let's check out my local map. I have mapped out the entirety of this cave. There is no other exit. Moria East Gate or Moria East Gate? Someone didn't think that through very well. And then over here we have the Ember Shard Mine and the Mines of Moria. Oh, hi, Mines of Moria. So here's another Mines of Moria mod I have. Oh my god! This Mines of Moria throws unnecessarily high amounts of Falmarau. What happened? I'm going to try and sneak around these Falmer this time, because last time I died. Well, no, last time Apple crashed Skyrim. The time before that, I died. Oh god, they see me! Oh god, so much lag. So many Falmer. There's the mines. Oh, what's that? What's that up there? Let's find out. Oh, it's for playing Dwarven Quidditch. These ones actually make you feel like you're in these ancient Dwarven mines. And they, they really get that ancient feeling by having, like, gaping sections of the stairs missing. <laughs> that will cause you to plummet to your demise in these extremely deep mine shafts. Personally, I'm more interested in who would win in a fight. The Balrog... Or the cave troll from the Mines of Moria. And they're pretty equally sized. But the problem is they're both attacking m I thought they were both attacking me. As it turns out, he was just taking his both on. This time... I'm invisible. That way we just see... An awesome Balrog vs. Balrog fight. Er, well, Balrog vs. Cave Troll named Balrog. There's in the... What are you doing? How are you doing? Are you feeling good? I'm not. You're attacking me repeatedly. Now, let's see if he can take on... Three Balrogs. How many Balrogs can you beat? How can you possibly be this powerful? To be fair, it took the entirety of the Fellowship to take down the Cave Troll, and Gandalf alone beat the Balrog. Oh god, I'm, I'm visible? When did that happen? Alright, you know what? Let's end this. Ten ancient Balrogs. That's sure to beat the Cave Troll, right? I mean... There's ten of them. Oh! Oh, trolls heal themselves. That's what the problem is. Guy's dead. Guy's dead. How on earth 
Does he beat so many flaming Balrogs? I'm not even sure if you can see my cursor, my white cursor. But, God, it's driving me nuts. So I know what you're thinking. That seemed kind of like a boss battle, huh? But it wasn't. Otherwise, I would have said, boss battle. He's Holy crap. That's what I was expecting of Moria, almost. Except that it's kind of levitating away from the mountain. Also, it doesn't lead anywhere. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm supposed to say that word. It's like friend and elvish or something. Why the dwarves have an elvish password, I don't know. But I also don't know how to say that in elvish. So, to the other east gate. Oh god! Did I toggle god mode? Is god mode disabled? Yes, it is. Now. So that worked. This time, let's turn god mode on. I tried to beat him fair and square, I really did, but that just wasn't happening. Ah! Oh, I missed again. You shall not pass. It occurs to me that fire was not the best weapon to use against the Balrog. Oh no, he passed! You shall not pass. Thanks for watching. See that video up on the left side of the screen? That'll bring you my gaming channel, specifically my Mega Man playlist, because that's what you guys voted for. Hooray! See the video on the right hand side of the screen with my face on it? That'll bring you to my main channel. You'll notice a distinct lack of editing on that. That's the general norm for that channel. There are only a few edited videos. If you want editing, well, you're just going to have to tune in next week for the next episode of Game Mash. See you later. <laughs> Resisted. He's dead.